Let there be no change by usurpation. For though this in one instance may be the instrument of good, it is the customary weapon by which free governments are destroyed. A message from American patriots to the citizens of the Republic. It was Abraham Lincoln who said this. We find ourselves in peaceful possession of the fairest portion of the earth as regards extent of territory, fertility of soil, and salubrity of climate. We find ourselves under the government of a system of political institutions conducing more essentially to the ends of civil and religious liberty than any of which the history of former times tell us. We find ourselves the legal inheritors of these fundamental blessings. We toil not in the acquirement or establishment of them. They are a legacy bequeathed to us by a once hardy, brave, and patriotic race of ancestors. Theirs was the task, and nobly they performed it, to possess themselves, and through themselves us, of this goodly land, and to uprear upon its hills and in its valleys a political edifice of liberty and equal rights. It is ours only to transmit these, unprofaned by the foot of an invader, undecayed by the lapse of time, and untorn by usurpation, to the latest generation that fate shall permit the world to know. This task, gratitude to our fathers, justice to ourselves, duty to posterity, and love for our species in general, all imperatively require us faithfully to perform. And it was Daniel Webster who said this, I dare not undertake to assure you that your liberties and your happiness may not be lost. Men are subject to men's misfortunes. We live under the only government that ever existed which was framed by the unrestrained and deliberate consultations of the people. Miracles do not cluster. That which has happened but once in 6,000 years cannot be expected to happen often. Such a government once gone might leave a void to be filled for ages with revolution and tumult, riot and despotism. George Washington, the father of our country, said this. Towards the preservation of your government and the permanency of your present happy state, it is requisite not only that you steadily discountenance irregular oppositions to its acknowledged authority, but also that you resist with care the spirit of innovation upon its principles, however specious the pretext. Let there be no change by usurpation. For though this in one instance may be the instrument of good, it is the customary weapon by which free governments are destroyed. <laughs>